So if I was new to recruiting, if I just started my own recruiting agency and I wanted to get a kickstart, the first thing I would do would, I would set aside time in my day to start calling on candidates and I would cultivate and build relationships with candidates within your niche. So for example, if you wanna go into healthcare, um, I would drill down further into healthcare. Let's say cardiovascular is a niche that you really wanna focus on. Maybe it's medical equipment. So I would start calling on medical sales reps that um, are proficient with cardiovascular expertise. I would find them on LinkedIn. I would go on to Indeed. I would spend the $250 a month for their unlimited resume subscription service. It's really a nominal investment to make placements. Um, and I would start sending emails out, getting them on my Calendly schedule and setting up Zoom calls and really conducting 15 to 20 minute screenings with them, become their friend. And then out of maybe 10 screenings that you do in one or two days, I would select one or two of those candidates and I would package them up, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, which most recruiters do not do. It is, in my opinion, the best way to get conversions from submittal to interview to hire. Um, and I would present these as what we call MPCs in our business, most placeable candidates. But there's a special way to do it, which our members do, which we teach them, and I use this same practice as well. Uh, but this is a great way to get your first placement. So the idea of, of calling on clients and stressing out that you don't have any recruiting clients, don't worry about that. Any staffing company that, that I've started, and there's been three of them that I've started, scaled, and sold, I've done this strategy I'm telling you right now, where I focus on the candidates. They are your best salespeople, believe it or not. There's so much information that you can get from candidates. Um, you can find out who the hiring managers are at certain companies that they'll give you. Uh, but bottom line is cultivate the relationship with the candidate, package them up, which I'll show you here in a second, how you wanna do it, and then start pro-marketing that candidate to your target list of clients that we help you identify. Uh, exactly how this works. Okay, so here's a preview into our MPC strategy, most placeable candidate strategy that I use for my recruiting company. And this has converted for us time over time. It's a very professional way to send candidates to clients on a uh, pro market level. So you're pro marketing your inventory, essentially getting it in front of the right hiring managers who who need to hire certain people today. Um, so after you speak with the candidate and you feel so strongly about this candidate and you know you can place them somewhere, what we do is we create a form. So you would go into our form called the MPC overview and fill out these details, right? So the candidate's name, you would select the recruiter, um, recruiter's contact email so that, so that the manager can get back to you. We go ahead and conduct a video interview that our client um, can watch. And I'll show you how that looks. I'll show you the final product here in a second. So we attach the uh, URL for the video right here um, and some details here. So the candidate photo is very important. A really good headshot is always a good thing to have on this page as you pro market it executive summary and candidate overview. So I record my candidate screenings and I go back and basically uh, translate my notes on here and make this look very professional. Um, accomplishments and key performance indicators are very important for your client to see. Most clients don't really care about what your candidates did 10 years ago. They care about what they're doing right now and how they're meeting and exceeding company objectives where they are today. That's most important for your prospective clients and hiring managers to know about. Um, skills, experience, depth of external relationships, really important. Again, a, a lot of this stuff matters, but if you just want to fill out the executive summary, uh, you can do so. That'll, that'll work. Um, I put the brakes on years ago and I said to myself, you know what? The devil is in the details, Russell. Let's take my time here. Let's not be lazy and let's put all I have into everything that I do in my recruiting business. Every step matters. Every process matters. When I send this piece of content out to hiring managers, it is the impression they have on me. So I choose not to be lazy. I choose to take my time and put a lot of effort into everything that I do now in my recruiting business, and it's paid off in a big way. Okay, so this is why I have all these details here. But good thing is you can just copy this. The templates are already set up for you. My IT team has already developed this. So science-based behavioral leadership profile, and get into that later. Um, and industry, candidates, current title, 
position, education, certifications, et cetera, the comp that they're desiring, and uh, you get the idea. So the finished product will look like this, all right? So once you fill that form out, my team on the IT side will develop the page for you in, within an hour, and you'll have this as your final product. So uh, Jamie Kaufman, Regional Sales Director at Cordis, Executive Summary, Accomplishments, KPIs, Skills, et cetera. And this is the page that you will market to your target list of, of companies, your, your hiring managers that need to see this candidate, right? So they can schedule an appointment right here with me to learn more about this um, candidate. There really should be a picture of me right here. I, I just didn't put that in, uh, but I will. Um, here is the video I did with Jamie. This is the candidate. So the client can watch the video. Um, medical devices is the industry that he's in. So you get the idea and you can make this page look even more colorful if you'd like. Uh, but this is how we pro market candidates to clients. And this is how we get appointments set up. This is how we get placements. So if you're just starting your recruiting business, this is a fantastic strategy, all right, to get started um, and get some, get some activity going, get some uh, appointments on your calendar with hiring managers. Hope this helps guys.